So now let us look at what is a don't care combination. See, if you have a function like this, for example, if you take a function of two variables, a, b, and there is a function f, the combinations of a and b can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. And this function f can take any values. For example, if you take the function f as 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, in this case, the function is said to be completely specified. Why is this said to be completely specified? Because for every combination of a and b, uh, we are specifying a value for the function f. That means uh, at 1, 0, the function f is taking value 0. At 1, 1, the function f is taking value 1. At 0, 1, the function f is taking value 1. At 0, 0, the function f is taking value 0. That means for every possible combination of these variables, we are specifying the function and these kind of function are called as completely specified function. These kind of function are called as completely, completely specified function, completely specified functions, right, completely specified function. But for some functions, if we don't specify values for certain combinations, for example, if you make a function f2, we are specifying the values for 0, 0, but we are not specifying any values for 1, 0 and 1, 1, then such combinations can be denoted by don't care. Then such combinations can be denoted by don't care. For example, let us suppose we want to make a circuit. Assume the circuit is something like this. This is a circuit. Or you can say this is a combinational circuit. This is a combinational circuit. This circuit is going to take some uh, numbers as input and assume the numbers are a b c and uh, some bits as input right and then it is going to give some bits as output and those bits are the xs3 code xs3 code okay xs3 code okay so for example uh, in this case we may have some uh, some combinations which are not completely specified for example let us suppose this is 8 abcd is uh, 8421 code this is 8421 code and what is 8421 code is uh, 842 and 1 now we can represent a number with 8421 the numbers can be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 Right, so for 8421 we can represent it like this 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 Okay hmm. So it will be This is 0 1 0 0 And then we have 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 now if these are total 4 bits these are total 4 bits then with 4 bits we know there are total 16 combinations which are possible with 4 bits there are total 16 combinations which are possible for example the next combinations can represent 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 Right, and how we you are going to represent these combinations with XS3 code? How you are going to represent these combinations with XS3 code? What is an XS3 code? You add 3 to this. So XS3 code will be 0, 0, 1, 1. Add 3 to this, right? For this with this complete number, add 3. Right, so that is XS3. Okay, so this number will be representing 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 1000 right so these are the access 3 codes we converted a 8421 code to an access 3 code okay see these 8421 code as well as this access 3 code they are used to represent a number for example if you have a number which is 43 if you have a number which is 43 then if you are going to represent this number 43 with 8421 code then 4 can be represented by 0100 so it is 0100 this is representing 4 and 3 can be represented by 0011 so it is 0011 this is in the case of 8421 code 
right if you are going to represent the same number with xs3 then with the, with xs3 the same number can be represented by 0111 it is 0111 and 3 can be represented by 0110 so it is 0110 right this is a four bits and these are the four bits this is the same number we are presenting using xs3 code we are presenting using xs3 code so every decimal number is created by a combination of 0 to 9 every decimal number can be created by a combination of 0 to 9 but for the combinations like 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 decimal numbers are not specified for these combination this function may not be specified for these combination this function may not be specified okay this function may not be specified so such combinations are called as don't care combinations such combinations are called as don't care combinations and we can assign any value to these kind of don't care combinations for example see let us read the definition an unoccurred input corresponding output which is unspecified can be treated as don't care for example if you take this example in this case we have an 8421 code we have an 8421 code and this 8421 code is going to represent the decimal digits between 0 to 9 we don't represent the digits between 10 to 15 therefore if you convert an 8421 code to xs3 code you are only concerned with representing the digits between 0 to 9 you are not concerned with representing the digits between 10 to 15 right so for the combination between 10 to 15 the function is not specified therefore for such values we are going to assign a don't care combination these are unspecified values the value of such function is noted by phi or d or x for example here i am representing by x but you can either use phi or you can use d and we can assign a value 0 to a don't care combination to minimize or increase the size of the function to minimize or increase the size of the function for example let us suppose i am representing this digit by a this is b and this is small c and this is small d so if you want to make a circuit for small d then how can you make it so this is a four variable function this is uh, this is a capital a this is b this is c and this is d so for this you can make a k map like this for this you can k map make a k map like this and this is small a small b small c and small d so we are making a k map for this one we are making a k map for this one so assume this is ab and this is cd this is the k map the combinations can be a complement b complement a complement b ab ab complement c complement d complement c complement d cd and cd complement and the, com the numbers will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 14 and 15 so this function is only specified between 0 to 9 so this d is taking the value of 1 between 5 6 7 8 and 9 so on 5 we have 1 on 6 we have 1 7 we have 1 8 we have 1 and 9 sorry 9 we have 1 so on on these locations the function is specified and on these locations we are having the value which is 1 okay but the function is not specified for the values which are 10 to 15 for 10 to 15 10 for 10 the function is not specified 11 the function is not specified 12 the function 13 14 and 15 for these locations the function is not specified so these locations are denoting a don't care combination these locations are denoting don't care combination don't care combination now we can assign a value 0 or 1 to a don't care combination to minimize or increase the size of a subcube so if we want to increase the size of a subcube for example if we increase the size of the subcube then we can minimize the number of literals which will be representing the subcube now for this particular subcube we can take we can take or we can make a subcube like this we can make a subcube like this as well as we can make a subcube like this and we can make a subcube like this so if you are make, going to make these three subcubes then we can minimize the appearance of number of literals so this biggest subcube this subcube will be representing a 
this sub q this one it will be representing uh, b c this sub q is will be representing b d therefore for this small d for this small d we can make the equation which is a plus b c plus b d a plus b c plus b d so this is how we can represent this particular function in the same way we can make a uh, equation for a we can make a switching expression like this is called a switching expression we can make a switching expression for small b as well as we can make a switching expression for small d okay so i think now you know what is a don't care combination and we can assign any value to a don't care combination either you can also assign zero or you can also assign one